Let's go then, the last one in group four. That's a fun bug. It probably still partially thinks that I've got 11 stages. Interesting. If anyone said anything in chat, I missed it. Sorry about the wait, Turbo. I'm just going to uh, bug report this. Let's fucking uh, rip it. Oh wait, no, I need to set it all to rain. Rip it in the brick. Let's go.
Yeah, I'm insane, I know. It's just been running through my head. Like, the more stages I do, the, be the f less time this takes, the quicker I get this shit done. And at the same time, it's like, it's that weird thing of, it's the only thing I want to do when I'm like, I'm like, I want to play a game. I want to fucking do this. Unless there is a YouTube video that grabs me, this is it. 
but at the same time if I don't let myself tab out to YouTube or anything and see that there's nothing so I don't see anything to grab me grab my attention away from this it's fine but like you know if I can put to be fair, today I should have put so much less time in, but I spent an hour and a half putting the work into the programming. If I'd have put that time not into that, and put that into two more runs, we'd have had Finland finished in Group B by now. With this amount of time on the, on the clock. But yeah, kinda. The script, so, the script, the reason I did the script today is because once I get into group S, I do not want to touch that script. I don't want to open it, I don't want to look at it, I don't want to, because the last thing I want to find out, because I fucked around in random tracks in group A when Australia first came out. The last thing I want to find out is that I've done one Bora reverse in the rain and uh, actually the last track isn't the last track. But it will still have to be done because it still has to be done, right? So when, when Australia first came out the first thing I did was played through it in 12 tracks doing exactly this I did 12 tracks in the dry and then 12 tracks in the rain exactly what I'm doing right now I did the first one in the dry in group 2 and I can't remember what I used for the second one but I think it might have been uh, I think it might have been group A because I wanted to use the kingpin so I've got a sneaking suspicion I actually did use it in the dry. I don't want to fucking know if I did or didn't. Because it got to be done. That VOD is long gone. There is no way for me to recover that VOD and to get it up on the leaderboards. Therefore, that's it. So it's got to be done again. Because I want to finish the whole of Turbo's thing. Uh, the speedrun.com leaderboards. Make Turbo work for it. He's going to shit himself when he looks at his emails, though. Why has Craven got 15 fucking... So, the, the physical maximum that I have is I can only do 10 runs a day. There's no way I'd be able to grind for that long, because that's like 5 or 6 hours. Maybe even more, depending on which ones it is. But... In fact, it's way more. It's like six or seven hours. But... The f that's the maximum I can do a day because YouTube, on my second account, still has the limits of ten uploads a day. So... Yeah. I've pretty much done six hours of AOR today. By the time I've done this, it was four hours on the first stream, but with an hour and a half of programming. And it's going to be two and a half after I've done this one. And do you know what I'm going to do after I've finished streaming this? Because I'm going to have to stop streaming because my room is getting overtly hot. Um... After I finish this, I'm probably going to continue playing other. I literally just, just, let, yeah. No, I'm not playing more AOR offline. There isn't, because there's no point in me playing AOR offline. Uh, I'm gonna play other games. <laughs> I'm still probably gonna game. I'm just gonna pick something very low system resources. My GPU. I was playing. Um, I was having a look with Mango Hood last night. 
my GPU in Zenotic is running at 1% the entire time. My CPU didn't fucking budge from what it was doing idle, just running on the desktop. It went up 5% CPU usage playing a YouTube video, just pressing play, and I watch YouTube in 480p because it's always on a secondary monitor and it buffers if I put it any higher. So, I watch YouTube in 480p, so it went 5% there, so Xenotic literally takes less power. It, it would take my computer less power to do the Xenotic streams if I had all the demos on my computer myself and was playing the game than it would to watch them on YouTube in 1080p. 100% it would. Unfortunately, the physical storage size of all of those demos and the fact that I'm fairly sure that once they're uh, uploaded to YouTube the, the video, the demo file gets deleted so rip logs but yeah it's, it is quite funny you know the power of demo files honestly though because it's something I wish that Art of Rally could have but apparently it's it, it was considered very unlikely because of the way the game was built and then it's obviously never going to happen now. Uh, and I doubt that anyone will be able to mod it in. But demo files are so cool because you can have hours of demos. And it's only like 20 gig. No, tw not 20 gig, 20 meg. 20 gig was my entire demos for six months all video recordings for six months. How long does it take me in my recording folder to get 20 gig? There we go. Uh, okay, so into Australia. So everything, so basically 20 gig is all of group four. Because I just, I got into 20 gig highlight, uh, selecting runs. And I got into Australia from group 3. So if you drop... This file doesn't exist yet because it's hidden. Because it's still being recorded. So this file isn't in there. So 20 gig is Australia. Uh, sorry, it's group 4. Or six months of perfectly high quality Xenotic, which is probably something in the region of three to four hundred hours at least. Yeah, record with OBS. I probably do need to look at getting some better settings because the current settings are a bit shit um, for certain things. They're pretty good for Art of Rally, but for certain Zodotic maps, they just go to absolute dog shit. Especially when there's a grass texture. When there's a grass texture, they go to absolute dog shit. Um, so I probably need to look into getting some better settings that potentially even take up less file space because I'm just using high quality, high file size is the the preset I'm using and then for the stream it's 4500 bit rate 30 fps pretty standard 720p pretty standard stuff Yeah, this track, if I were to run Australia, would not be going back to back. It's super flat out. And you just end up running, like, running not at maximum speed the entire time because your car's too dirty. Same as the one on Kenya. And the first track on Indonesia. It's not as bad on Indonesia because it's not as high speed, but it is long. 
and there's some high speed sections but yeah you're just going so much slower just be objectively better off not having it next to each other only 6.6k actually that's surprising that it's done that wait what did I just forget I think I forgot to fucking clean the car is the problem bollocks I forgot to clean the car I've just got a really dirty car whoops Speedrun's going to be crap then. Nah, nothing's a reset. It's weird because we don't clean the cars in career mode. Because there's no point. Because the, the speed you lose... I mean, honestly though, I don't know. Classically, we don't clean the cars in career mode. But maybe group 2 it's fine, but I'd say probably cleaning them in, like, when you get up to group 4, the speeds are higher, so you're losing more time. And there's more tracks. So maybe you don't clean every set, but you probably want to clean every couple. It's also never rains in group 2, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, I'm still alive. I was just planning on getting reset there. This is so I should have been able to clean my car on the previous stage. So why why couldn't I clean my car on the last stage? I should have been able to clean the car then. Did it bug out and not give me a car cleaning? Not let me clean my car. I'm confused. Yeah, you should be able to clean your car on odd numbered stages. So, I've already had one bug in this run. <laughs> quite fu quite funnily. Uh, I accidentally selected 11 instead of 12 at the start. Realised it while setting up all the tracks. Go back. Set up all the tracks. When you press down on the 11th track, it goes back up to the first. If you go up, it'll go to the 12th. But when you press down, it still thinks you've got 11, so it goes back up to the first. Which is quite funny. But that shouldn't change anything, because if you've got 11, you get the same number of... Uh, same number of services. You just only have one race after the last service. 
you still get a service every two. Hmm. Interesting. It'd be frustrating if this is just a random bug and you got uh Oh no. Imagine if so fortunately we have damage turned off in speedruns. But imagine if we didn't. Imagine if you were doing a 12 stager with your mates, damage on, and it wasn't Art of Endurance where you don't get to repair at all, so it doesn't matter. But damage on, and you just suddenly couldn't repair. That would be... Minorly brutal. Hopefully, I get to clean my car after this stage. I'm gonna go very slowly through the next set of menus to make sure. Right, continue. Okay, so there's a service marker there, so we should be getting a service here. No! No service! Bot's dead. Broke the game. I'm still not fucking quitting the run though. I know I need to upload a player log, but um I'm not doing that till I've finished the damn run. I've put half an hour into this run. It's not going to save me half an hour to get services for the second half.
two dudes? Are they gay or something? I'd probably be more likely if they were gay. Ah, piss. Well, I mean, were they like making out sloppy style over a <laughs> over a <book> chicken? <laughs> that would be one hell of an advert. It's not June, so they wouldn't put out that advert. Next month, next month they'll put out that advert. You watch Pride Month. They're testing the waters by putting two dudes on the advert. Same two dudes next month. You've been watching us. Under the table, I've been giving that guy a hand job. Where do you think our mayo comes from? Burgers, that was the um, Impossible Burger. That's what everyone say about the Impossible Burger. Burger so good it made you trans. Trans your gender. Because people were saying it had estrogen in it. And it's like, yeah. But drinking soy lattes ain't going to grow your tits. Fuck, no we taking actual like medical estrogen for me I have absolutely no booba zero zilch nada big F not even a cups no cups at all Yeah, you'd 100% see loads of people trying to eat as much. I can... If it, if it worked, it probably would be. Two milligrams really ain't a lot. And that's base dosage. It's way too little for pretty much everybody. It bloody wham tell ya Yep, no service. My OOS is the Arch Linux. Thigh highs, skirts, and arch. Yeah, no service in Australia. They've gone on strike. Guys that wash the car, they've just gone on strike. They were like, fuck this, you keep driving it through paddles, mate. What the fuck do you think you're playing it? We're washing the car every ten minutes. And you're just driving it straight through a fucking nether paddle. 
What the fuck do you think you're doing driving a car in rainy season in Australia? Mate. It's truth. Can't even put another shrimp on the barbie. Barbie's gone out. Hey mate, give us some of your petrol, we'll light the barbie. Truth is a fucking wallaby. A kangaroo. And have you seen the giant sheep, mate? Giant fiberglass sheep. Just round the corner. Lobo. Lobo the lobster. He's uh He's rearing up over the townsfolk. We uh, fucked up. He was meant to be measured in feet, but accidentally we got a hundred metre lobster. Instead of a hundred feet. And uh, yeah. There was no baths for the rest of South West Australia till we got the fiberglass on that bastard. I'm literally just stealing Gary Brandon's jokes. Just I'm not actually funny. Alrighty then. I'm going to miss this car. It's a cool car. I've been looking at the Rotary 7 and like trying to think what the fuck would I put on that car because it's such a weirdly shaped car. Uh, ninety percent of our humans taking the piss out of you lot. Though it is, <laughs> it is incredibly British to continue to go two World Wars and one World Cup, despite the fact that the Germans have four World Cups. <laughs> Which, in case anyone's counting, is more than the 2 plus 1, making 3. <laughs> it's like... Okay. Just, just pointing out your L's on the end of that and hoping nobody notices. Germany's got three fucking stars under the... Brazil, they've had to make their entire, sew their entire shirt out of stars, their football shirt. Because they've got fucking so many World Cup wins at this point. I think we've got more Tour de France wins than Germany now as well, actually. What do I mean, now? Wiggins won it, but there was definitely a German... Well... Jan Ulrich. Beyond a Reese German. No, Reese was. Reese was uh, Danish. Jan Reese. Yeah, Danish. He's got. Uh... Yeah. He, he literally pretty much, since he went pro, rode for German teams. Which is why I thought it was potentially German, because I'm pretty sure he spoke German. <laughs> it's just basically, other than birthplace, is pretty much German. Uh, yeah. Cheers, Turbo. Uh, sorry about the bug. Please don't disqualify it, because it's technically a disadvantage.
Tschüss.